Hello and welcome to a short video tutorial on setting up a teacher account and a group within Edmodo. This is Liz Walhoff from the Cantrell Building in Douglas County School District. Within Douglas County School District, we have created accounts for all of our schools in Edmodo. Edmodo is a free social networking site for educators. So it has a similar interface to Facebook, but also has some of the classroom applications that you might find in an LMS like Moodle. Plus, it's also ad-free and a little bit of a safer environment for our students. Douglas County School District teachers you would go to dcsdk12.edmodo.com. Once you're there, you'll see this screen. Click on I'm a teacher, and then the following box comes up. As you see, you have to contact me for the school code. I'm going to enter in the code for the Center for Professional Development. I'm going to create a username. Setting up my username and password, I'm going to choose one of my mini Gmail addresses associated with the district. Choose my title, first name, last name, and then click sign up. As you can see, it takes just a few minutes. This is your basic interface. You'll see that your name is here, you're logged in, and then over here is where you set up your school and the group. A group is like a class within Edmodo. Let me zoom in a little bit on that. Now my school, in this case, is the Center for Professional Development, but it could be an elementary school, middle school, high school, whatever it is, and you'll see that you're also automatically associated with the district. So you have those two communities. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see also that you're automatically enrolled in the support community. Edmodo has a series of people that they assign to be able to answer questions that you have. They're very timely. They're very polite. It's a great support system. What you are going to do then is you're going to go on the left to this group section and you're going to click on create. Your group could be a prep that you teach or it could be a class period that you have or a school year. So after you click on create, you'll create the group no name. For example, you could say period one um, biology. You can decide whether you want that to be an area where people can just read or whether they can post. Since we are training, trying to train our students to understand the social networking and doing it responsibly, I suggest leaving this off so that people can read and write. You can select a grade range. So here I'm going to click on range. If I'm at a high school, it's probably 9 to 12. So I'll just scoot my slider bar over. Select a subject area. You can select the subject within there and then say create. Now the reason that I'm doing this within period one biology instead of just biology and making my period subgroups between below there is that you can only have two levels of grouping in Edmodo. You can have your upper group and then a small group within that. Now if I have period one biology and I make small groups then they can work within that class. Whereas if I just have biology and period one, period two, period three under that then I can't make small groups within my class periods. So that's why I want to structure it that way. And then I say create. So this group code that is automatically generated is what you send out to your participants, your students. Then all they have to do is go to dcsdk12.edmodo.com, click on I'm a student, enter in the group code, and they can automatically join in your group. Teachers who are taking your courses can click on I'm a teacher, create their account, and they can still join the group just by entering in that code. The last thing I'm going to direct you to is right here where it says setting box for the group. When you click on that, essentially it's just going to take you to Edmodo's support site. It'll drop you right to the settings section of it, but you can scroll up and down and look through all of what they have for you. Their screenshots give you a nice basic understanding of what you can do with your group once you're done. Thank you for listening to this DCSD On Demand video tutorial on how to create a teacher account in Edmodo.